con otro pasas el rato Vamos a ser feliz, vamos a ser feliz, felices los cuatro Te agrandamos el cuarto Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Today's video is going to be a get ready with me slash Latina tag So if you would like to see what I do my mother. How I do my makeup routine for the week For a mommy of two for a mommy who doesn't have time to sit down and beat her face for the gods. You know, this is a regular beat, an everyday beat. So if you want to know everything I'm using, I will leave down in the description box below. I'll leave all the products. This is a drugstore, everyday makeup routine look. So you can get all these products that I use today at your nearest drugstore, nearest um, Walmart, Target, you know. Anyways. So, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Continue to watch so you can see my video. Latina tag video. And get ready with me video. Okay, thank you guys. Let's get started. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like she said, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys. <laughs> First question is, what's my nationality? I'm Puerto Rican, 100%, Boricua, de pura cepa. Both my parents are from Puerto Rico. I wasn't born there, but my parents both were. So, obviously that means I have sangre puertorriqueña corriendo por las venas mía, you know? My next question, obviously I already answered it, do I speak Spanish? Pues claro, obvio que yo hablo español, me sé defender 100%. So yes, I do speak Spanish. Next question is, what's my favorite dish? Hmm. Now that's definitely a tough one to answer just because <laughs> your girl here is a fat ass. <laughs> your girl here loves to eat. So to pick one favorite dish is gonna be a challenge hmm let's see what's my favorite like all-time favorite I don't have an all-time favorite because like I said I love I love all my food from my island so I, if I had to choose it would be like mofongo con carne frita which is like pretty much like fried fried um fried pork or like fried chicken with mofongo which is like a fried plantains mashed up and then they're like formed into a ball type of thing with like garlic on top oh my god so so freaking good okay my next question is Fourth number four is when was the last time you visited? Guys, this is a sad story. The last time I visited PR was I was like 16, right? And I'm 24 now, so it's been a minute. It has been a minute since the last time I visited my island. Do I want to go back and visit? Of course. Um, it's just complicated because obviously I'm a military spouse and I'm all the way in Washington State. So a flight from here to Puerto Rico is like a 12 hour flight and your home girl. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. A mommy of two taking a flight to Puerto Rico for 12 hours? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Alright, the next question is what's your favorite place to visit? I love the beaches. Luquillo. What's your favorite place to visit? My favorite place to visit is El Junque, which is the national jungle of Puerto Rico, and the beaches. Any beach, I love the beach. Literally, I could be at the beach every day, soaking up all the sun and getting trigueña, aka dark. My next question is, have you ever visited the capital? Yes, I've visited the capital. Everybody who goes to Puerto Rico visits the capital because um, 
the airport is one of the airports is in the capital so everyone who goes to PR pretty much flies into that international airport I love San Juan because it carries a lot of history El Morro's there they have a bunch of old buildings it's just a city full of culture so yes I love going to San Juan next question is what's your favorite dessert this is the hard one guys because I love flan I love them leque but I would have to say that my favorite dessert of all time is tres leche which is pretty much a cake that contains three milks so so freaking good guys it's so good like my mouth is getting watery right now just thinking about it that's how you can tell I'm a fat ass at heart but it's okay it is okay so my next question is what haven't you visited in your country to be honest I have not gone to Vieques or Culebra and for those of you who don't know it's one of the most famous beaches in Puerto Rico you have to hop on a ferry to get to there because it's an island it's like a small island that's a part of Puerto Rico so I have to say that I have not gone to Vieques at all which is probably my next adventure when I do go the next question is what part of the country are you from so like I said in the beginning I wasn't born in PR but my parents were so my mom is from Rio Piedras and my dad is from Ponce and Orocovis. The next question, what type of music reminds you of your country? I would have to say salsa, merengue, bachata, reggaeton, but salsa reminds me of Puerto Rico all the time. And just to throw that in there, my all-time favorite artist is Mark Anthony. He is my all-time, all-time number one, numero uno, mi favorito, Mark Anthony, of course. The next question, of course, is what is a household item that reminds you of where you're from? Si tú eres boricua, si tú eres puertorriqueño de pura cepa, En tu casa siempre hay que tener un pilón, porque con un pilón se hace muchas cosas. Por ejemplo, con el pilón se hace el mofongo. So if you're boricua, you know what this is. It's called a pilón. You can mash garlic in here. You make mofongo in here. You mash up the plantain. This is used for everything else, okay? El pilón. Okay, ahí lo dice, Puerto Rico, ya tú sabes. So, get yourself one of these. Si tú eres boricua, tú tienes que tener un pilón en tu casa. Si eres boricua, tienes un pilón en tu casa. ¿Tú me entendiste? Así que si no tienes un pilón, arranca a la tienda y búscate un pilón. And those are pretty much all the questions for the tag of Latina tag. Do my eyebrows off camera because they need to look like sisters at least like if they can look like twins yes but i'll take sisters it's okay they can look like sisters but yeah had to do it off camera because your girl had to focus make sure that her eyebrows look alike or at least somewhat alike so pretty much this is my everyday makeup routine for when i'm not trying to look all dolled up too crazy you know just simple mascara eyebrows foundation bronzer and you can sit up now actually my bronzer right here I'm gonna use the Milani bronzer this is all drugstore products guys so you can definitely find all of these products Target Walmart Wobbling, CVS, any drugstore. So 
yeah. Then I just contour my nose a little bit. Not too much. Because like I said, this is a everyday makeup look. You're not trying to look too dolled up, too cray cray. You know, you just want to look cleaned up, you know? Cleaned up. Because when you're a mom, you have heavy eye bags underneath your eyes. You look crazy 24-7. So you kind of want to look cleaned up when you're going out and doing mommy stuff and running errands. You don't want to look like a zombie. So yeah. Pretty much during the week, you see me with my hair pulled up like this in a messy bun. If you want a tutorial on how to get your hair like this, let me know. I would be gladly happy to do that for you. Pretty much, this is my basic look. I don't like to wear lipstick colors during the week like that, unless I'm feeling a little, you know, extra special that day, but I'm gonna go ahead and, oh yes, oh my god, I forgot. Mascara, that is a mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious, guys. I'll put all of my products down below in the description for you guys so you guys can go run to your nearest drugstore and get all these products guys get all these products i have to like focus on these because if i don't guys i will get it all over my face and that's no bueno no and i don't like to put eyeliner on during the week none of that stuff basic cleaned up look cleaned up you know cleaned up so now we're gonna set our face with the l'oreal infallible pro pray and set i like it it's a decent setting spray for a drugstore product i don't like the smell of it that's one thing i will say not a fan of how it smells but I do like that it does work for it to be a drugstore product. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is um, highlight just a little bit. And um, this is not really like a highlighter. It's a Milani face and body baked bronzer, but um, I use it to highlight because it does have sections where you can use the highlight. So I just put a little bit on, you know, just to brighten up this beautiful Latina face of mine. Put it on your nose, your cheeks, you know, you know. <laughs> I like come through. All right, I think that's enough, guys, because then this is not going to look like a normal everyday makeup look. But this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. And before this video ends, of course, I'm going to go ahead and introduce to you my daughter. Con otro pasas el rato. Vamos a ser feliz, vamos a ser feliz, feliz en los cuatro. Yo te acepto el trato y lo hacemos todo el rato.